Saving Lives is a typical day for the volunteers of the Forest City Ambulance Service, including Waldorf student Tori Menz. I got into this kind of work because um, the people drew me in the first time I met them. Um, their humor is a big one and the fact that they are so willing to help people and I'm kind of in the same boat, I like to help people as well. For paramedic supervisor Dale Rayhans, volunteering is a rewarding commitment. Once a member gets in, they stay on for a long time. We've got members 20, 30, 30 plus years that stay on the service and that's awesome. It's great. Chris Hanna, president of the Forest City Ambulance Service Board, opens up about his experiences as an EMT. The ones that really have stuck with me and have kept me going are the ones where we pick somebody up in their most dire need, and by the time we get them to the hospital, you know, they're fully awake, talking, kind of joking with us in the ambulance, and you get that thank you as we're rolling them out, rolling them into the hospital. The Forest City Ambulance Service is always looking for committed volunteers who want to help keep Forest City in good hands. You know, you're helping out the community, plus you're getting to know a lot of good people and gain some really good friends. This is Carly Von Holt, Wall TV News. Um, I actually started out uh, as a reserve police officer here in town and uh, really enjoyed that. Uh, just started working a few accidents with uh, the ambulance service and really started to uh, become interested in it and uh, talked to a few of the members that have been on for a while and uh, they talked me in coming out, checking it out and ended up joining them. I've been on the ambulance service 20 years now. It'll be a, a great fit working alongside the fire department. Uh, new facilities will be nice, the extra space will be nice. Be able to kind of spread our wings a little bit. I've got memories of calls from when I first started. The bad ones stick in your mind, the good ones stick in your mind. So, Dale Ray Hans, I've lived in Forest City for about 20, four years now. I started on the ambulance service, been on there for 20 years, been a paramedic for 18 years, and I'm a paramedic supervisor here at Four City. This, uh, I'm going on my fifth year of service. Um, first year as a uh, board president. Yes, it's going to be a, a very good improvement for the service. Uh, 
we're going to be moving in with our fire department, which we work very closely with on a lot of calls. So it'll be very good for both services moving forward. Okay. My name is Victoria Menz. I've been here since June of 2014, so eight months or so. Um, I am an ambulance driver and I work at the Forest City Ambulance Service in town. I am excited for the new location. I'm excited for everyone else, all the EMTs, the paramedics, um, the drivers. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to experience the new building. Um, it looks really neat. The location is great and I'm very excited for everyone to enjoy it. Uh, I'm Chris Hanna. I'm going on my fifth year as a volunteer for the service. I'm the president of the uh, Forest City Ambulance Board and I'm a driver EMT. A few that really help me get out of bed so late or early in the morning um, are the people that I work with. They're amazing people um, and working alongside them with them, helping them, it really helps me to keep doing this and serving and it really helps me to put forth um, more advertising to get other people to do this, to get involved with their community. I hear a lot of people asking, you know, what can I do to help out in the community? What better way to uh, do that, you know, join a service? Being a volunteer takes a special person and once they get involved with it, uh, their self-commitment and family commitments uh, is some of the best feelings that a person can have. When you're helping someone else out in uh, traumatic times and it's a, it's a feeling that's like hard to explain but uh, it just gives you a, a, a great sense of well-being, helping others. And getting into it, finding out how helping others is such a big benefit, uh, that's probably my main desire why I stay in it is community involvement. I'm Chris Hanna. Sit down. <laughs>